Welcome back guys to Xenoblade Chronicles X, where last episode our post game began with a few heart to hearts before starting to tackle our end game questing, heading to Coldress where we found Ji Zhang without his sword, as we tracked down the supposed human that now had it, defeating the Dafinian that has attempted to trick us with the form of the deceased Tolba. We then took on El Saruf's affinity mission in Nopon Air, having to concoct a medicine to heal the titular Nopon with materials coming from strong beasts, as we failed an eternal Minasaur before being told we had to obtain a guardian ether scale from the ruler of fates, Telephia the Endbringer. However, it seemed that Telephia understood what we were after, leaving us our object after a short tussle, allowing us to make the potion only for Tor to go a bit down to ease an upset stomach. With that fast complete, we now continue on. All right, I need to my class right to go up so I can move up, but look at my blade level. We're nearly able to take level four biological. That's crazy. That is crazy. What was the file I got? I have no clue. And I guess we never will. The Master Stroke Lance, maybe? Maybe it was that. I don't know. It requires Goetti or something above her. So that's a thing. So, with our party nail all, all good. Can beat that. Everyone is, of course, at maximum affinity here, so. Farewell to all of them. We need to get people back in, and let's do some more normal quests. Let's go to. Let's go do a nice, easy one. Or at least from the guy that I expect to get a nice easy one. Hey there. Go in. Come Stay back in the team so you can get to five hearts. Thank you first. Doug needs to reach five as well. So let's grab Doug. Never know, I might see another lobster. Now then. Now then. I somewhat doubt it though. Alexa's over here. Is Alexa having a heart to heart? Hey, uh. hey, Zanny. Thanks for what you did for Mika and Chink Camber. I heard they barely had to spend any time at all at the old maintenance center. It's terrible about what happened to Fernand and Hannah, but I'm glad at least those two made it back. Hey, so do you remember what I said about the black scale back then? Well, I've had a chance to ask you. Did you see it when the white whale was attacked? Oh, you have amnesia. Weird. Did I know that? Okay then. Um, well, do you have any theories about the black scale? Alexa, Alexa, that was just a normal scale painted black. Speculating there may be the new model that's being built in ULA. Or claiming it was the Galleon scale fan in Noctilum. I don't know. We'll do conjecture. So you think it might be the Progaris? Well, that's one theory. But how could a scale that was built in ULA after we landed on Mira have been around when we crashed on it? Oh my gosh, what if it wasn't actually there? What if I saw a ghost scale? <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? That's nuts! You know why I'm asking about this, right? I mean, they did mention things repeatedly throughout the story, didn't they? So, ask Alexa if she's allowed to say scale again, or suggest it's because Alexa wants to meet the lack scale, yeah? Is that your true crush, Alexa? No, of course not! It's because I've launched an investigation into the identity of the black scale. I'm searching for images of it and interviewing potential witnesses like yourself. After all, talking about how much I love scales is never going to accomplish anything. I don't know if this will either, but I think it's a step in the right direction. If you hear anything or find anything relevant, let me know, okay? I'm gonna track that thing down if it's the last thing I ever do. We completed Alexis Heart Heart Phoenix Wings! And of course, why is the point in me ever scouting for Heart Hearts? I just walk into them normally. I want to be Hope's pet dog, but I don't know quite how to go about it. Probably shouldn't discuss that with her, huh? In a world where we can inhabit other bodies with our consciousnesses, Perverts can no, do more okay. weird things really? than ever. Hey. I don't know. Is that a perverted thing? Depends how you look at him. Hopefully that dumbass will soon be able to come back to his old body soon. And then I'll be able to help him atone for the suffering he's caused. But until then, I'll have plenty of free time on my hands. Wanna take me somewhere? I'll go wherever. I guess the news has to spread. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Alright, Doug's a level 48. He's higher level than Gwyn. He's winning that race. I'm pretty sure Alexa's at five, so we don't need to get her. Name me one other person that I can go and get to level up. What about Fry? Fry makes sense to go and get. Right, come join me. What's up? We got things to do. He's had a glass or twenty of booze, so we're gonna take him for an adventure, because that makes sense. 
I think Fry's level 50-ish. I told a lie. So now we just have to get them built up to their fifth affinity hearts. So Fry is at four and a half. We have... Oh, I pretty much need to take Celica further here, to be fair. Gwyn is at four and a half. And Doug is at four and a bit, obviously. I know you're in a weird position on the board. Four and a... Quite a bit. Right. Right. So we should be able to build them up pretty fast. Can't believe I fought that guy and survived. <laughs> My luck is obviously in, right? All right. This should be an easy quest. Because Hugo only asked us to ever bring in Meranium, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me, friend. Do you not think Kirstie is a simply marvelous woman? A crack operations manager, yet with a true scholar's knowledge of Frontier Nav. She grasped both the nature and potential of my battle probes almost instantly. She even offered to personally recommend them to some industry connections. Is she wonderful? Uh, I do, I think that she's the bee's knees, yes. I'm so glad you agree. Keen judgment. That's what she's got. Keen judgment all around. I can see why she's so popular among the Pathfinders. From that side, let's get back to business. You're eager for my next series of battle probes, no doubt. Next, I think I'll craft you ones that reduce your opponent's resistances to debuffs. I'm thinking of calling them easy debuff probes. I think... No, I'm sure that 30,000 units of Meranium will be enough. You'll provide, of course. I have it on me, but I don't have... You know... Endless amounts. I need them for fuel now. You and she are very much alike, you know. You have the eyes to see what really matters. Bring me that Meranium and I'll bring all my expertise to bear and craft you an exceptional new series of battle probes. That is sure on the first spec sheet, still in the way. Hi right, there, sorry about that. Yeah, that Meranium I was asking about. Of course. Ah, some top quality stuff. Now I just need to resolve one last design problem and she's ready to go. If you don't mind waiting, I'll go see what advice Kirsty might have to offer. She's a front enough specialist and generally brilliant, so she may have the perfect solution. Got it, it's finally done. Here it is, the easy debuff probe. Still one of these at Frontier Nav Probe site, and any enemies in that region will have the, the resistance to debuffs reduced. Yeah, the first one in this new series is yours. Now put it to use, keeping the city safe. So, we have the Industrial District's final series well underway. We got an easy debuff probe, and most importantly, quest complete for some affinity. Oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I got the chance to demo my battle probes to some of the arms industry higher ups. What makes the good word Christy put in for me? I won't let this opportunity go to waste. Now that I've got an in, I'm going to redouble my efforts and tackle bigger projects than ever. Segment recon complete. Yeah! Uh. Huh? Yeah. Right, well, that said and done, there are quests like literally everywhere at this point. In fact, like one of the den most densely populated area for quests at this point in time. Interestingly, there's a lobster. It's the man on ship. So lots of Xenos have missions for me at this point. Thought I hadn't checked out around there in a, a fairly long time. So let's say that and link it Sally. Thank you for the 29 months of sub. Thank you very much. 15 lobsters left. Well, I haven't done actually a look or a scout for lobsters, so... I don't think we'll be going great guns for doing that. I mean, for example, like, there's got to be, like, lobsters in a section such as this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Two more lobsters. That was a pretty good flight, to be fair. Was there a lobster over there as well? Oh, oh, oh. It's lobster City over here. Got some Fermidor. I'll just fly around like low flying, see if any more tags appear. I mean, I haven't really checked out this area properly. Did I see one then or not? Here's the question. It's always, did I see a lobster tag or did I see one of those red lights? When the tags appear, Things get redonkulously easy for me. Need more tanks, please. Yeah, 
There's one. Wow, actually got a load of lobsters in no time at all. I'm surprised. Well, that leaves 11 left. Then I really hadn't actually scanned any of these areas, had I? So, makes sense I'd find those now. Can I get it down to single figures? That's my next question. Oh, I need to refuel myself quite evidently at this point in time. Doesn't look like I'm getting any more red tags, does it? You're always going to find stuff on maps like that, though, when you haven't actually done a proper search. I want to bring it down to single figures, but it's going to be a lot harder than just flying around at high speed to do that. Well, let's uh, find myself another quest, shall I? What quest shall I undertake in? That's the big question. I have made a list of all the quests I've actually managed to see at this point in time. So let's go and do the one that we saw before. Uh, uh. Hello, Vevan! Hey, uh, Alexandri, you've been to Silverlum, haven't you? I don't suppose you've seen anybody look like the boss there? Professor B, that is. Tell Vevan that you have not seen Professor B. I've not there, no. Why do you call him the boss? No, I have not seen B. I see. All the traveling around you do, I thought maybe... Uh, but I should probably back up, right? The Professor ran off to Silverlum to gather materials for a new product. We're rolling out through Factory 1.21. He headed out there in the mirror mobile, so he should be able to return home literally as soon as he's done acquiring the materials, if you follow me. But I haven't heard a thing from him since he left. If he doesn't come back, Factory 1.21 will go under, and then I'll never receive all the money he owes me. I'll be left holding the bag on a small mountain of debt, which means I'll be totally ruined. I'll just disappear into the void like the Professor mourned by no one. <laughs> Devin, it wouldn't be fair to be the only one to survive this nightmare, now would it? So come with me. Come to a place beyond debts and liabilities. Please try to calm down, okay, Graham? We don't know anything about the professor for certain. But he's gone silent. Did he run away to the future? Who knows? Hell, who could ever know? But wherever he went, it's all over for us. What about you? Will you come with us as well? There's nothing in this life to miss. <laughs> what? Sign me up! <laughs> I have other things to do. Sorry, Graham. And so do you, Graham. Life is chock full of fun things to look forward to, am I right? Hey, so, Alessandri, is there any way I can convince you to go look for the professor out in Silverham? Factory 1.21's fate is on the line, you know, so we won't skim on the reward. Do you mind? I'm less worried about the professor at this point than I am about what Graham will do if, if he doesn't get back soon. Right, we get a load of things to display. 54k. We're gonna search in the North Cinnadooms for Professor B. Maybe I should look to just get more silver and completion percentage while I'm there. Thank you. The mirror reveal should be somewhere in Silverlum's North Cinnadooms, okay? Maybe you'll find some sign of Professor B nearby. Regardless of whether or whenever he's run off to, I need you to drag him back here pronto, alright? There are tons of things I still need the professor to teach me, you know? Graham and I both need him. Oh, well. Warn Vevan that it's possible the professor is dead. Sure. I'll agree. For a nutty guy with the world's most suspicious backstory, the professor is, is, is awfully popular, isn't he? He, he is his. Yes. Alright, well, let's search for Professor B. In the north. Cinder dunes. He says going. Lobster, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Ask and you shall receive. 89 lobsters! 89! Any more lobsters? Come on. Get, let's get to 90. We'll be within 9. This will be the dream. I'm looking for the tags more than I am the items, sadly, though. In certain respects, I wish I could do it differently. Well, we'll have to speak to Kirsty soon. I don't see any red tags lighting up for me. What is Felice doing? So let's warp out. 
and just go, well, we'll find this in the future. I just want to find lobsters. We're so much closer than we ever were before. Go on. Aerio is down there. So Silverlum then. It's the very top of Silverlum. Is there anything I can look at to kill or grab? Lockhart, the killer of hope. Appears rarely. Oxserve the Ancient near a corner as well. Why not check out Oxserve the Ancient? See if we can get some more segment recon. Silverlum is at a flat 65%. No extra percentage numbers. There's actually an affinity mission marker in the very middle of Silverlum as well. So that's interesting. Oh, hello, big giant. Wasn't expecting to spawn in your butthole, but there we go. So over here is something called Oxer the Ancient. Well, somewhere over here, anyway, let's put it that way. It's in this section, so I'm assuming it might be this guy. Hi! I missed! <laughs> Come on! Who did damage to all of those buddies? I don't even know, but let's use my attack. See, this guy just keeps surviving. Last Ox of the Ancient, and that's the segment recon clear. Can I just run from these ones? I don't really need to beat them. Wow, does this thing ever reload? I thought, yeah, I've got this ranged weapon, my thing, I'll use that. It doesn't even live and reload. I guess we'll take him out one by one. Alright, so I've got another fire again. I've got lots of them. But at least that's another segment recon complete. Something on the northern sea road waiting for us to find, but I imagine it's got to be biological, right? What's my blade level? <gasps> Ooh. Getting closer. There's a lot of vigents here. Kind of had to be, didn't it? Yeah, it's a level 4 biological for this area. Pretty soon. We've just got Vision sleeping next to Ad Second. Well, oh, whatever version of the blooming thing they are. I know it's Ad version. It's a quest to do at the top right as well on Silverlum. It's weird all these quest icons that show. And of course, it might be that, of course, the start of it is in ULA and then we move forward from there, but essentially there's a quest icon right here saying. That's a quest! Do me! Right, you, let me take this. Just so it's off the mat and done. And to be fair, I need the battle points. So it's this way we need to go. I wish the Millisaurs were higher than level 50. Sure, you can do this the hard way. Could have got some better experience. It can take as long as they want to kill that as they want to. Gives me time to get fuels, and every time we see level 50 plus enemy, we can get experience for our friends. Which is never bad. Open wide. I'm going in. Use melee attacks. Just gank it. Professor Beast cars over here. Also, there's also this bloke. He is called Goliath the Stronghold. He's asleep. But he's level 50, which makes it like we want to have a crack at him. But we don't really. Well, did you find anybody or anybody that remind or anybody or anybody that looks remotely like Professor B out there? I've had a scar. What? Well, Miranville was abandoned. 
Yeesh, doesn't Professor Bean know that Silverlum has no place to go wandering off? Hey, there's a green pal inside the Mirrorville. Could you push it for me? Sure. See, the Professor's location popped up, right? He might be caught up in trouble again. I'd appreciate if you could hurry to his position and bring him back. ASAP, okay? Where do you want me to go? Actually, the jet, where do you want me to go? Silverlum secluded lava lake. Well, I guess there's that thing I need to find in there. The alien container seems to be. Well, I can't go in there with a scale, can I? I mean, I'm the right level for dealing with the scenario, but... I think that guy's a segment recon. No, I don't think he is. Segment recon for this area is Lorenzo the Fog Bell, which I'm pretty sure is that gigantic. Plant of Doom. That's how I'll put it. That's what he represents to me. He is but and Plant of Doom. And at some point, I'm going to have to try and take them on too. When you think about it. Well, I can't go in the secluded lava lake. So, down we go. So, any enemies that want to face me, come get some. Of course, we are significantly better level for this place now. Hey, what are you doing down there? It's a Visigel. <laughs> Roof the Shunner of Light. Hi, Roof. How you doing? <laughs> Been shunning light much, Roof. Right, the question now is how much of this stuff I can grab. Don't make those noises at me, you. Oh, also, is this... Eh! Not open yet. Ah! What the hell? I'll put him down. This is our cover fire. This one's got your name on it. I need, I need DP. I'm not gonna get much from this attack by looking things. Make noise as much as you want. Will that gravity brass bring him down here? Probably not. No real TP game there. Nice work, y'all. So, <laughs> Professor B, where have you even sure. got to? You can do this the hard way. In here? Only one way for me to get my TP back. To be honest, any more class experience I can get, it's pretty good. We get to level 10, then I can equip an extra skill, and I can be better with my overdrives again. Oh, I don't want to use that. I need DP. Nothing else, nothing more. So I will dispatch every enemy. Is there more? Where the hell do you guys keep coming from, honestly? We're in high gear now. I'm in high gear, but I can't see anything. I thought I'd have finished it with that, weirdly enough. No, there's still another guy. There we go. Finally took everything out that was trying to attack me. It's hard to get these quests done, you think? Right, so, uh, what the hell are you? And what else is in here? Crabs. Is that something you've dragged in here to eat? I think it might be. Oh, hello! Let's go fight Feld the Indigo Clad. I'm having 20 points on there, thank you very much. Don't 
So he ends really fast now. Very, very fast without the skills that I have. So there goes Feld. And segment recon complete. Very much worth coming that way away from Professor B, who is stuck behind a force field. So how am I supposed to help you, B? You can do whatever you want. You're not getting anything out of me. Gad, was it? If you hate me that much, you might have to kill me, you sorry little bleep, bleep, bleep. Tell Professor B that you've come to help him, or do your best Gaddy impersonation. I'll just explain. Good heavens, Alexandri! Did Vevin send you? What? what? Phew! I thought this might finally be the mission I didn't make it back from. I can fill you on the situation once we're out of here, but first you got to get the grey key card to disable this barrier. The monarch around here should be carrying it. This is a very important task for you, kid. Now I'm CEO of a very busy man, and I can't waste any more of my time yet. I've got new products to flog to the masses. He's a CEO now. Spec up Eva Res. So I'm guessing the guy is where we saw the guys before. Is there any things for me to pick up? Here they come. Oh God, I'm going to ignore you. Hopefully you won't chase them through the entire cave. Hi! Open fire. Follow me. My target is you. And then it's my DP. But like everyone's after me, aren't they? Of course. But now, thanks to Zero Zero, I can build things up pretty fast, can't I? Probably should have continued it just because the amount of enemies want to kill me in this cave now that I've done what I've done. It's fine, we're only angering most of the cave. And once it's dead, it won't be a bother anymore. Right, we got the great key card. And ended most of the wildlife that existed. So, good for it. So, can this allow me to get another place now? Should I just try to go that way first? Something tells me he might actually lead me that way. Oh, yeah, I can. What's in here, even? Not anything drastically evil. Hey, good bonus. Now I can't open up that barrier, because I used the key card. It's one use only. And now he's stuck behind that barrier to the end of time. Oh, weapon attack power at five. It's not too bad. Phew, one keycard fits all. Mm. Well done, kid. You haven't killed my mayor well. I've been killed tomorrow. Well, that gab punk certainly has it out for me. Betty jealousy, no doubt. Right, why were you being held here? Ah, gathering mission critical intel. You are ever the professional. Oh, thank you. You remember the two-bit kidnapper, Gad? Been pestering us for a while? Well, he attacked while I was in the middle of gathering materials. Had it just been his usual goons, I would have sent them running, obviously. But the mercenary's hide was a different story. I let my guard down for a second, he knocked me out cold. Then you make the same mistake. Surprise attack or no, it takes an experienced hand to take me down in one blow. In any case, stay sharp, kid. I'll meet you back in the mirror, Bill. Oh, he's actually just straight up left? Yes. Yes, he has. Straight up left. Should probably build up more of my survey, right? But I've walked straight over. I probably should take my scale though. It's a lot faster. Nope. Level 92 guy down there. Not that special guy that likes it when the other guy appears. Give me the goodies. Hi, Professor B. 
What's going on with the car now? Damn them. Those two bit punks cut my Miraville's power lines and attempt to strand me here. Sorry, but it's going to take a little while to patch this up. Would you keep a lookout for. No need to bother repairing that, Professor. It can't help you now. You're off to a VIP engagement, and I've got your invite loaded right here in my clip. Hmm, I'm not interested in any pie you're throwing. I've got things to do. Go there yourself. You scientists are a sad lot. You can peer into the Miracus Mysteries and see solutions, but you can't even recognize your own death baroning towards you. What do you think that flimsy excuse for a blade stands a chance against my partner, Dolba the Wrecker? Oh, I think Alessandria is more than you lot can even begin to handle. I would think you'd know that better than most, after having lost to him so many times. Then why not let him choose how this goes down? What is life after all but a series of decisions? Will it be A, kill the egghead, swear allegiance to me, and assume that my good nature will lead me to spare your life? Or B, join the good professor here as a co-star in Dolby the Wrecker's magical murder show. He's not nice, by the way, so it's likely to hurt a lot. Nah, which will it be? Right. Choose option C. Choose option D. Ah, I'm the difficult dick type, am I? <laughs> show mercy, forgive Gad, and invite him to join you. <laughs> Make Gad pay. Too stupid a reason with, eh? Then on with the magical murder show. Alright, Dolba, use your overwhelming force to escort these idiots to the VIP party. Do you want me to get back in my scale and beat you up? We're going home alive, Alexandri. Whatever it takes, kid. And once we get back, I'm going to make a massive lineup of new products to get filthy rich off of them. No mercy to anyone who gets in the way of my plan. Well, hello, mister. Where is he? Oh, he's there! My gas level 19! It'd help if I could actually attack Dolber. Alright, one's dead. Now watch my counter. I'm sorry, Dolber. I think we've only got one foe left. Did I have a timer? Why do I have a timer? Impressive as always, Alessandri. I don't think I've ever seen your equal quid, even among the elite of the distant future. Alright, repairs are done. I'm headed back to the city. I've got to get back to developing new products and extracting loot from the population. Past, present, or future, time is money. Is it now? Prepare to jump, Miramobile, engage! Off he goes then. Poor Gad and Gooms. Well, talk to Vevin at Professor B's research lab in the industrial district. We can go do that in time. I am interested though in maybe, just maybe, maybe baby, trying to find some other like turn-ins, give-ins. We'd like to crank up the levels of our two lowest places and they are here. Silverlum and Coldress. They're the ones that have been left lagging behind. So I'm going to drop right into this encampment and say, are you a segment recon? Because that's what's in this area. Who'd have thought the segment recon would be in the middle of an enemy base that you just fly into? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Very nice of you. May as well get the second one as well, right? That's 68% of this area done. Right, in terms of other things. Let's boost it up to 70% before we give in. But technically, giving in will probably be what gets us there, to be fair. Right, there's 
two different guys to kill here. One is Thaddeus the Ultra Mephic, which we've seen before, and the other is Lockhart the Killer of Hope. Also, I have no clue what Lockhart the Killer of Hope looks like, and it only spawns sometimes. So that's not exactly helpful in me trying to figure out what the hell Lockhart is. Fuck you. Nothing under here. That really doesn't help that it's a rarely spawn. I'm gonna walk near these guys. No. Oh, technically, I think I actually have the mission for him as well. So if I just quickly put that on, I can actually see the, the exact destination, which is gonna be handy. Uh, is it low down or high up? It's low down. Oh, there it is. It's uh, one of these blokes. Do you actually have any bit I can target? There we go. <laughs> Speed him up. Poor Lockhart. We didn't even bring hope for him to kill. And are you going to finish the job anytime soon? Wow. There we go. Same with recon complete. We accidentally summoned another guy though. Seems I've got myself a cool big weapon there. Oh, well that was Lockhart. 69.21%. Of course, with the remaining guy here, we've got as the Ultra Mafic guy. Which is him, but Mr. Zedom likes to take a route through this place, remember? Maybe he's not here at the moment. So let's bust his butt. I'm hoping that no one appears now. Go on, Thaddeus. We won our segment completions, mister. Get out my cool new weapon, dig it in there and... Blow up his ass! Not really getting any extras. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, 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 I can't see. Oh, he didn't, he didn't join the battle. He didn't join the battle. Am I? Stop. That's worrying. He's turning around. Don't attack him anymore. Yes. He's defending anyway. Okay, he's gone. We can fight again. I want to do a command to let them do what they like again now, but. It's gone. That's a big hit. I haven't managed to break it yet, though. Let me bind so you get damage. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Fine, I got this. Look at this delicate thing. The delicate little dance I'm doing. Oh, 
Right, I'll bind. Let the others get the tax in again. I actually managed to lose my target that time. Very down, guys. Push a little bit more. Finish him. He's coming back. Right, Fadrius is the fear. We got an F2 rifle. Most importantly, we knocked over Silverlum to 70%. So bit by bit by bit by bit. We're getting to where we need to be. To the industrial district. Hopefully this guy isn't going to attack me. Oh god he did. <laughs> Run. <laughs> he did. Ah. Big success. Some more tyrants slain. Whew. I think worried that someone would do an attack that would AOE and mess things up. That big fireball thing I have isn't exactly terrible. Quite pleased with it, all in all. Wait, you're not there anymore? I guess she went back to B's place. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Come on, show me a lobster. You know you want it. Show me a lobster location. My dreams are always about lines now. We've done the quest! Listen. Recipe told me what happened about how that gad guy was keeping him prisoner. Thank you doesn't really begin to cover it, you know. If you hadn't gone after him, who could say if, if the press would, professor would still be alive? Bevan, what was it about calling me that? I found a present and CEO of Factory 1.21. Yes, boss. Sorry, boss. He's slowly been so obsessed with running this business, you know? Well, the making money part of it, anyway. Remember how we used to go on about how science was the pure and noble pursuit of a better future? Talk about fickle, eh? <laughs> he's hopeless. And after all the troubles he's dragged you through, no one's more qualified to say that than you, right? Sometimes I wonder if maybe everyone in the future is like him. Talk about bleak prospects. In any case, here's your reward, alright? Thank you for saving our company. Right, we got factory fun achievement unlocked. Professor B went out to gather materials and has not returned, but he's been saved now. But he seems hell bent on using his position as president of Factory 1.1 to make some serious profit. Get this, Vevan. Graham here swarm fielded me and joined our little Factory 1.21 family. What? No, I just told you to hurry up and pay me back as quickly as possible. Yes, which me clearly means you want the company to grow and succeed and are equal to help that happen in whatever way you can. Oh, you're just adorable, Graham. Lucky you, Vevan. You finally get an underling of your own. Oof, Graham's kind of a pushover, isn't he? He'll probably be working here for life. Uh, shall I rescue him? Or <laughs> just stand back and see what happens? Hey, don't just stand there and let me get railroaded. There's no reason at all why I should have to work here. Enough whining. Now get over here so we can start your employee orientation. What? Like, why? What? This isn't fair. Well, Professor's a solid engineer, right? At least you'll help make some excellent gear. Maybe you'll let us help you out the next time you're in need of equipment? Segment recon complete. Is that the end of Professor B's quest line? Who really knows? Hey, check this. Someone really want me to check that. Have you heard about the rumors of the new scale Lao's doll? This apparently was actually based on a previous model. Yeah. Right, I guess it's time to go see Eleonora and get our biology sorted out because we're at that point now. We've got it done. Wins at four and a fair bit. Murderess has her own affinity mission still to go, of course. Arena's already maxed out five. Yeah, we're pretty much good for everyone. Doug's getting very, very close. Oh! Soon I'll be able to use anyone I wish to. Which are basically Lynn and Elmer. <laughs> You know a guy from the industrial district named Haroneldron? Yeah, sure. Apparently he was attacked by the galleon outside the city, but some weird squad came to his rescue. Ah. Haroneldron. Also, there's a strange woman hanging out in the residential district park. When I say strange, I mean totally weird. She might not even be from Earth. 
Talking about area, right? Just between us. Where's Honor out on? He's got an affinity shift. I'm pretty sure. Situation. He was saved by a squad of rather odd characters outside. Oh. Hmm. Who could those kind and gallant fellows possibly have been? Shh. Ah, she all is angry. Shh. Perhaps you could help me. I'm trying to figure out the identity of the prone group that saved my life. Shh. You see, until just recently, I was prospecting for Volton outside the city. Shh. Unfortunately, I was spotted by a band of Milsadi who quickly surrounded my trailer. Shh. But then a squad of pink-colored prone appeared from out of nowhere and thoroughly pummeled my Milsadi assailants. Shh. If it hadn't been for them, I'd never have made it back to New LA alive. Shh. But prone of that color is still supposed to be Lord of the Ganglion. Shh. Why would they rescue me? So, uh, you should ask the... Probably, like, yeah, lightly rescued by Team Sloverty. What? There's a group of pink prone that have deserved from the Ganglion? Shh. And you say that they're now in ULA fighting against the Ganglion? Shh. Thanks so much. I'm going to speak with them and bring a token of my gratitude. Shh. The way those women fought was nothing short of spectacular. Shh. I'm eager to hear of the great deeds that Sloverty has achieved from her own lips. Shh. Well, that's another segment of Recomp, which I wasn't expecting to get, but hey, when, you, when it walks into your face, you can't help but claim it, right? A gigantic cynicula standing atop a spire in Primordia's grooving plains. Shall I go and face it? Right, what are we at percentage-wise now? 78.77% for the entire game. The highest place is Oblivion at 77.7% exactly. 77.4% is Primordia. 736 is Noctilum. 70% or 70.2 for Silverlum and 70.4 for Coldress currently. There's quite a lot going on. Maybe I should now try to fa face Eckhart the Indestructible. We could give it a go. Yeah, lots of sevens, basically. We're at that. It's like sevens across the land. I'm trying to make it higher than. Well, that takes some sweet time itself. There's also... Yeah, actually, I'm going to go for something else. Where's my scale? I need a bigger scale. Oh, I should get level 60, shouldn't I? I think I teleported up here. <laughs> All right, supposedly somewhere in this segment, there is a thing called the Experimental Composite Kumeva. Kumeva. Somewhere. There it is. But it only appears at night time. Now that guy's gone past. I think we're going to go try to jump in and smash it. This will be another segment recon complete. Just yell faster, guys. I'll just break his leg, it's fine. Have we not killed it yet? There we go. Segment recon complete. Got an L head speed free. Somehow I managed to get even tougher. Let's get out of there. Segment recon complete. That's what we do now. We fly by. And we gank tyrants. This is now my new job. Right, you. I saw you and I tried to get TP. You're a bit higher level than her, friend. I did not stagger him! Seems to be resistant to this stuff, to be honest. You can attack, Eckhart. So I'm wondering if I should get out of the scale and just try to build stuff up elsewise. If that would do more damage to me in the end. That bus is going to help though. I haven't remotely destroyed that part yet. Alright, so he's gone full defensive. I mean, I've been fine. 
Right, that's in his face, which will lower one of its attacks. Or remove one. I really don't want your scale to go down. That growl was pretty big. Okay, guys, do some damage. We're at half. This is for a segment recon. Be nice if that got him as well, but no such luck there. I mean, that's everyone's scales. No, they're still alive. I mean, I'll be able to break stuff, so that's fine. Well, no matter what, while everyone else might be losing it, I'm still good for fighting. Another scale's been lost. I'm not grab you. Oh wow! I can't see a thing. But I know I'm doing good damage. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I got inside him too much. I like this dragon more. It's cool. Stick it in and then. Maybe become complete. Eka, the indestructible, is defeated. At the cost of everyone's scales, but I got level 59! Nearly 80% for Primordia. Right, should we go back to Eleonora like I'm supposed to be doing? So this is the post game now, really, isn't it? Between going back and forth. Killing some tyrants and doing some quests. That's what we've got waiting for us. How was everyone for levels? 48, 49, 47. Hey. Anything else going on in here? A Meridian request? I can do that. I can do that indeed. Any more guys for me to kill? Anselm the Triumphant? Lots of new quests, probably because I reached a new blade level. But let's get our final reward. Your blade level has risen, Lord Andy. Congratulations to Max. Your newest bonus is right here. Wall decals of the crew. Okay, nice. Blade. What is it? Welcome to Blade. Yes, put that up. New wall decals are your final bonus. You're the first person who has ever received these. Am I really? Now you can put the finishing touches on your barracks with decals that no other resident of New LA has ever seen. Looks like this is it. Biological level 4. Your biological skill skills got up a level. That concludes the awarding of bonuses. It's the last one, you know. I never imagine I see someone reach the highest possible blade level. Well, I'm afraid I have no more bonuses to award. I hope that you'll keep working hard for people of New LA all the same. Biological <gasps> level 4. We can finally get a lot of stuff that was in... Hmm, well, like, Noctilum. There was, like, one level 4 biological. There was one we found recently. It was like, ah. But now we can... Much easier segment recon, except if level 5 didn't exist. Right? That's the true problem. That's, that's the end problem. Oh, 09, 08. Oh, okay, if we want some numbers, there's a 6 stars advert. Oh, oh, look at these. Cool. Poster 6. New LA fashion posters. Hey, it kind of looks like my character's done a little bit of a fashion shoot. I don't know. What? Okay, sure. Mimizo Maintenance Center. X Art. Verus. <laughs> Seraphic Nopon. Welcome the Blade, the God Art Machine. Wonder why they're for, for, for you, if you know what I mean. Wonder why they're there. Sk 
shells. Sure, we'll have welcome to Blade. <laughs> Why not? It's all custom for them after all. Why do we have pinups? Because I guess the answer to that would be why aren't there pinups? Someone would probably say. I mean, they're advertising for clothes brands, etc. So, and when you consider them in form of advertisements and stuff, sex sales. We know that. Everyone knows that. Trade as old as time. Right then. Where am I off to next? That is the question. Let's find myself another mission to complete. He says, running around quite happily, just doing whatever we want to at this point in time. Actually, I have to find out if everyone else is good. And we need to be cycling people out whenever we can. So Fry is at four and a bit, so that means Gwyn and Doug aren't there yet, but they're very close. A couple more quests and we'll have a whole squad done. Let's go to the man on ship. Because we've got to give him some stuff there, right? Do we not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, quests everywhere. Literally everywhere. Except I, when I, oh, okay. Well, this is new. I'm not even kidding. That wasn't part of my scout. So that's a new one. Going over here first. Wait, wasn't it you that wanted me to give the stuff? I was like, am I wrong? Not on common skill, buyer in the commercial district? What? I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Well, I guess let's take the first one we saw. I thought the Romanian was for her. I thought, is that continuing further? No, no, it's not. Vera and all there on hanging out. Right, so you're in the middle of all these, are you, Bihaba? Uh, this quest seems interesting if it's got a cutscene starring. Ah, you there, Mr. Blade, yes? This may seem like a chance meeting, but I assure you it is not alright. It's not alright at all. Clearly, you are afraid to be to hear me out, you see. Here to do to do to do. This is a deeply serious matter to us, okay? So before you say anything, I'm going to start talking. Sure. The short, short version is that the world really is a dangerous place, isn't it? Yes, so, so dangerous. Especially recently, yes. It's gotten to the point where a person can't even step outside to do maintenance work, hasn't it? Or, or like right now, as we're out here talking. Have a look above us, maybe. Wait, what? Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> we could be minding our business, working in an open spot like this, and then blam! Yes, blam? 14 people have already been killed, right? It's far past the point where we can ignore this. Uh, and it's not like we don't know who's responsible, yes? And as I'm sure you've guessed, it has to be the gangling. We were supposed to have chased the last of them out of the area, but there are still stragglers, it seems. There's only one reason I can think of for these senseless attacks. It's a mix of spite against the Manon they couldn't enslave and the humans they couldn't defeat. And I can't forgive that, can I? It makes me really, really, really mad. So mad. So, so mad. If you feel the same, I'd like to help me, okay? You should go find those Ganon survivors and beat them up, yes? Beat them up a lot, even? Uh... Uh... Are they... Are they actually doing anything here? Eh, uh, what? How is that all clear? And why would you doubt me? It's because of you humans that this area is so, so, so peaceful, you know? Who would think to do this kind of cowardly climb, but the ganglion? I hope you'll stop asking silly questions to help me out already, maybe. Now that we've established that, I'd like you to start by tracking down the hideout, okay? Sadly, nobody thought to record the direction from which these shots are being fired and so on, so someone's shooting them. Okay, it just seemed very conveniently timed for someone to fall out of the sky when you were exactly talking about it. Forensic should have been more far, no? Oh, is that all you need? Wah! So don't just jump into a conversation like that, alright? Also, wait, you're alive? Uh, of course I am. True, I was hurt rather badly, but as you can see, I'm still here, no? I'm also mad enough to, to, to spit. Who just shoots a person out of the blue? A jerk, right? A jerk who should go beat up a lot. So you remember the direction the attack came from? Well, I was shot on the right side of my back, yes. So then, the shooter would have been north of me. There was a fair bit of percussive force to the shot, but I wasn't burned to a crisp or anything, was I? 
which means the beam was extremely focused. A precision sniper around me, perhaps? That suggests it was fired from a considerable distance, though. And based on direction and distance, that would place the shooter somewhere in Primordia? Oh, I think I need to lay down. All this talking has me a little dizzy. You go get rest, okay? We've got a good lead on the enemy now, so, so don't worry. Oh, remember to eat lots of pizza for strength, yes? By the time you've had dinner and a nap, this whole mess will be over. After all, I've got an ace blade on the job, don't I? Uh, I do have an ace blade on the case, right? Please? Because I really need you to head north into Primordia and investigate. Sure. Finally eliminate the Gambian sniper who's been shooting relentlessly at those aboard the man on ship. Head to Primordia's Talon Rock third terrain and pursue the enemy. Alright, well, that's one basic mission done. Of course, it doesn't count for anything. Okay, so it's north of here, so that away. But also has to be able to see them up in the ship. Yeah, I mean, that's literally like up there. It wants me to go that way, which is kind of bizarre. But it's definitely that way. This looks like a fun one to sort out, doesn't it? Just wondering if there are any lobsters up here. Here, lobsters, I'm looking for you. Show me your beautiful red tags. And we'll try to avoid the big monster in the sky. I think I need to refuel this soon, aren't I? Well, I'm not far off. There's a mission completion point over here, so this quadrant I'm moving into just now has a mission associated with it. For a completion. Maybe it's this mission. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> Got right between his legs. I wish to take your goodies. Am I too high up for this? Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, drop myself down slowly. I should be able to fight anything I land on after all. It's lower than this? It's higher than both of those points. Now the question is, where exactly is my height good enough to find whatever this thing is? If I just keep heading up then... Oh, it's definitely on there then. Uh, uh oh, what's that? <laughs> so you're being shot by a literal scale. And live to tell the tale. Seems I got him mixed into a little bit here. That's a Zedom right there, you know. Danger, danger. So he's just blasted off. I think Oh the way to knock them? No, I've gotta head back. I'm not going in to knock them. I'm supposed to just go back home from here. Report that we saw essentially if they're flying, we can't do much about much. The hope though that the big level ninety thing would be perturbing enough that maybe people didn't try to snipe people from that point. Whatever. 